608 here on Richmond's Morning News. Some of you may be a little worried about your house right now. Uh, we're pretty lucky here in Richmond, though. We've we've had a, a booming real estate market. Yes, it has slowed down, but it's slowed down to more traditional levels. Home values continue to go up. That is not the case all across the country. Checking in this morning to talk a little bit about what's going on with real estate and this whole FHA bailout program is Danielle Babb, real estate expert and the co-author of Finding Foreclosure. Good morning, Danielle. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. How are you? Doing very well. Are you checking in from California this morning? Yeah, I am. It's a little early here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. I'm just going to salute you for getting up this early. I wish you were closer. I'd send you a complimentary cup of coffee or something. <laughs> but we appreciate you joining us. Uh, how has the real estate market been in California? What's what's going on with home prices there? Um, California's not so hot. We're number third in the nation in terms of foreclosure rates. We have one in every 69 households in the nation in foreclosure. The, na- the national average average right now is a one in 134. Yeah, is Michigan number one? Ah, uh, you guys are uh, actually thirty fourth in the nation. You're you're doing a, you're you're doing well. You're uh, we have about one in every four hundred and twenty seven households in foreclosure. So you're uh, about f- a little over four times the national average in terms of uh, on the positive side of that. Of okay, you're talking about Virginia then when Virginia. you say that. Yes. All right. Yeah, I mentioned Detroit because I'm originally from that particular area, and I know they're going through a real difficult time. They have, I think, they are having a mass foreclosure. Uh, Sale this weekend, over 700 homes in the metro Detroit area are going to be for sale. They're going through a real tough time right now. They are. One in every 29 homes in Detroit and Dearborn, 28,000 people uh, in Dearborn and Detroit are in, in, in the state of severe foreclosure, meaning they are about to lose their homes, not just a notice of default. Obviously, in areas like that, they're struggling through some very difficult economic times right now. Is why they came up with this whole idea of... Um, uh, trying to bail out some of these subprime mortgages, some of these risky mortgages where the mortgage companies went underneath, uh, where the yeah. FHA is going to come in, uh, maybe up to as high we hear up to 80,000 households may get an opportunity, depending upon certain criteria to participate in this. Bad idea or a good idea? It's a good idea. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to help enough people. Um, I've heard anywhere between 60 and 200,000. The FHA originally reported that it was going to be as many as 200,000, and they've downgraded that to, like, like you're saying, around 80. The, the problem with the, the whole system is you have to have been able to, one, show that you have steady income for five years. You have to show that you were able to make your payments before it adjusted. You had to show the adjustment was severe. You had to show that the adjustment was the reason you're not making the payments. It has to be your primary home, um, and you have to have had no foreclosures for the last three years and no bankruptcies for the last two years. So they're going to be very strict about who can get these loans. That all sounds pretty fair to me, though. It is. It's fair. Um, we don't. Most of us in the investment world don't only don't have a problem with it. We're just concerned that it's not going to help enough people, um, especially with the cap of four hundred seventeen thousand dollars for jumbo loans. Um, and then, uh, of course, the FHA loan has an even uh, has an even lower cap. So that might be a potential problem as well. You know, Danielle, a lot of my listeners would probably say this morning, why why should we be doing this? Why 